consistent. I'm not saying you should take the one or the other, but somebody should be explaining to you the difference between those units. And again, any time we're doing custom work, and you know, an air conditioning system is custom in the sense that it is custom to our particular home, to your sister's, you know, particular home environment. Any time we're doing custom work, the only way anybody can figure out exactly what it's going to cost is by taking an accumulation of estimates from experts, and what you'll see is a trend starting to form. Uh, you know, you should see like everybody is worth a few, you know, few hundred dollars of each other or a thousand dollars here. And then there may be an outlier who's, you know, like crazy twice as expensive or half right. as expensive. You don't want to ignore the outliers, but then you really start to see, okay, it looks like it's going to cost about this much, this, for your system. Right. These, these three contractors are all within uh, a reasonable amount of each other. So let's kind of... Uh, dig deep between these three and decide which one we think is offering us yeah, the best service, the best so warranty, and, uh, and the most recommended equipment. And that's how you decide how you're going to go with a contractor. Assuming they've all been vetted and they all have good reputations, that's how you're going to make yeah. that decision, Carol. Hmm. One, one more question is about permitting it. Uh, it is in L.A. County, near Whittier, and um, same thing. Oh, uh, you don't need a permit. Oh, uh, you do need a permit. We won't do it without a permit. Um, do you know that, if the yeah, tax that question, that, that question, regardless of where you live, that question can mm -hmm. be resolved with one phone call to the city. You simply call up your local municipality and you say, hey, I am having our air conditioning system changed out. Do I need a permit for this? And let the city answer that question for you. Okay. And that is another way of finding out, uh, you know, who's given you uh, the right information among the contractors okay. that are bidding. And sometimes, I'll tell you, some municipalities don't really care about switching out AC and uh, stuff. If it gets into the duct work, sometimes they absolutely want a permit. When it's just changing out one unit for the other, sometimes not required. So the best thing to do is to call your local municipality, find out from, uh, you know, straight from the horse's mouth, as it was, uh, that, uh, you know, what it is that you need. And then you go back to these guys and say, guess what? Uh, you say I don't need a permit, but the city says I do. So uh, there you go. Carol, uh, good luck with that. I hope that gives you some direction as to how to proceed. And thank you, everybody, for your calls this morning. Really good calls today. We're going to pick this up again tomorrow. This always happens whenever we do an all-calls weekend. We just get really good info out there. I hope you have a fantastic day. Handle on the law is up next. If you've got legal questions, his phone lines are open now, 800-520-1KFI. And for you all, whatever your plan is for today, be intentional, be kind and get out there and get busy building yourself a beautiful life. We will see you tomorrow at 9. I don't know what you're thinking, and I kind of like that. It's the fun. KFI. KOST HD2. Los Angeles, Orange County. Live everywhere on the Anchor Radio app. Catching counterfeits, I'm Brian Broomin, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A unique federal inspection facility in L.A. has already nabbed more than just fake Super Bowl hats, jerseys, and signed footballs. We already superseded our numbers from last year. Customs and Border Protection Supervisor David Tapia says this year has produced the most outrageous fake he's encountered. The Ben Lombardi trophy that somebody ordered from overseas, and we also have an array of championship rings. Tapia says if the price is too low, it's probably counterfeit. The feds say thousands of worthless items generate millions, if not billions, of dollars each year. At the Customs Inspection Facility near LAX, Corbin Carson, KFI News. The union representing the deputy district attorneys in L.A. County's DA's office have asked George at Cascon, excuse me, Cascon, to meet with its membership to defend his policies and directives. A letter sent by the union's board of directors has asked Gascon to participate alone during the Zoom meeting on February 16th. The board says it wants to hear from Gascon before the membership votes on whether or not to support the recall effort against him. Illegal pot farms in California are creating big piles of trash for wildlife officers to clean up. The California Department of Fish and Wildlife says its marijuana enforcement team picked up more than 32,000 pounds of trash off public lands last year. 
The department recently released its enforcement numbers for the year. It says aside from picking up all of that trash, it took out more than 2.6 million illegal marijuana plants and took out more than 400 pieces of equipment that take water from streams. The department did note, however, that illegal groweries on public lands have been decreasing. It says DOJ data shows the farms are moving to private property. Blake Trolley, KFI News. In an unlikely battle maybe brewing in Nevada, it's environmental issue against environmental issue. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has proposed designating critical habitat for a Nevada wildflower it plans to list as endangered. The wildflower grows near where Ionair USA plans to build a lithium mine. The lithium is needed to produce batteries for electric vehicles critical to the Biden administration's plans to fight climate change. Fish and Wildlife says a ridge 200 miles from Reno is the only place in the world team's buckwheat is known to exist and it needs to be protected. Ioneer says the critical habitat designation will not stop it from building its mine. Amy King, KFI News. The man who shot and killed four people at a Waffle House in Nashville in 2018 has been found guilty of first-degree murder. The verdict was announced yesterday after about four hours of deliberation. We, the jury, unanimously find Travis J. Rankin for the offense of premeditated first-degree murder, guilty. Travis Rankin admitted to the shooting but said he was not guilty by reason of insanity. The Winter Olympics have begun in Beijing. Three American women have all moved forward to the women's snowboard slope-style final, which gets underway tonight. Two-time gold medalist and South Lake Tahoe native Jamie Anderson is getting ready. The course is really gnarly. The snow is challenging. The wind is pretty gusty. Um, yeah, it's a really challenging course. The opening ceremony took place last night, and the first medals of the 2022 Games were handed out today. Norway was the first country to win gold, with a dominating performance in the women's 15km skiathlon. And singer-songwriter and actress Olivia Rodrigo has been named the winner of Billboard magazine's 2022 Women of the Year Award. The award, which recognizes artists, creators, producers, and executives for their contributions to the industry and community, will be presented during Billboard's Women in Music Awards on March 2nd at the YouTube Theater at Hollywood Park. Southland weather from KFI, sunny skies and warmer temperatures. There's a wind advisory until 2 o'clock. Upper 60s to mid-70s at the beaches, low to mid-70s in Metro LA and OC. Right now it's 55 degrees in San Clemente and 48 degrees in Pasadena. And right now we're going to take a look at a crash in Diamond Bar on the 60s. That's heading eastbound just before Phillips Ranch Road. A wreck there blocking the carpool lane as well as the left lane, so it's causing some heavy traffic from Diamond Bar Boulevard. Irwindale on the 605 northbound Oak Cone Zone there has the right lane closed off until 3 p.m. in between Live Oak Road and the two cents will watch for delays as you approach. On the 110 northbound in South LA, you'll see some delays as you approach Gage Avenue. It'll start to clear up just before exposition. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Pedro Moreno. This portion of Handle on the Law is brought to you by Laguna Legal, affordable document and mediation services for Southern California. Exergen would like you to know about an important study just released by the FDA. It confirms what the medical community has known all along. Non-contact thermometers are not accurate. The study also reports that they fail to meet FDA requirements for accuracy and labeling. With new strains of COVID on the rise, we can't afford to tolerate the rampant false temperature readings from non-contact thermometers. Accurate temperature measurements are essential. You need Exergen thermometers because they're accurate and backed by over 100 clinical studies. Be sure. Be accurate with Exergen. Learn more at Exergen.com. They say, if you love something, set it free. At LifeLock, we say, that's bull hockey. All that saving up and paying off debt just for some identity thief to set it free? Crazy talk. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. If you become a victim, we'll work to fix it. No one can monitor all transactions, but everyone can save up to 25% off their first year at LifeLock.com with promo code NEWS. Identity theft protection starts here. If you're injured and need a lawyer, go to HandleOnTheLaw.com. KFI AM640, more stimulating talk. And uh, this is uh, KFI AM640, Bill Handel here on a Saturday morning, right till 11 o'clock. When Leo Laporte comes aboard, that's 11 to 2, and then Neil Saavedra with uh, Foodie Saturday. Actually, that's Foodie Friday with me on, uh, on Friday, as in yesterday. So it's a pork report today from 2 to 5, and getting close to, we talked a little bit about Super Bowl foods, and uh, probably by next week, 
uh, it'll go full blast uh, Super Bowl foods with everything more expensive. Um, yeah, you're going to get, uh, instead of chicken wings, chicken feet. It's going to not be the same, for sure. Our phone number is 800-520-1534. As always, top of the hour is the best time to call because uh, sometimes, I think last week, or certainly the week before, we went two and a half, almost uh, two and a half hours, almost a full show uh, because uh, the uh, phone calls uh, were so jammed. 800-520-1534. As we start our show up until 11 o'clock, this is Handle on the Law, Marginal Legal Advice, where I tell you, you have no case. And let us start with a great story. And this is California. Well, California, ahead of uh, the heap when it comes to new legislation. Uh, in California, the interesting reputation, which I'm sure you know, this is the land of tofu turkey. Uh, this is the land of kumbaya. Everybody sings and dances. Uh, there's still an enormous number of hippies. I went to school with people who are still hippies figure that one out. And most of us don't have hair. And still, they're hippies. So, uh, this is no surprise, but this makes all the sense in the world. Uh, the Senate approved uh, the, a change in the state's definition of false testimony to exclude or include expert court opinions uh, based on flawed scientific research. The ban, in fact, includes it to get rid of this expert court opinion, the opinions based on flawed science uh, research and outdated technology. In other words, junk science. Junk science will not be allowed in the court. And how do you define junk science? Well, um, the bill by Democratic State Senator Scott Weiner uh, would first of all allow people, if they were convicted, based on the testimony, and here is uh, their definition. Experts' opinion that are not based on bona fide research recognized by the general medical community, peer-reviewed studies. Peer-reviewed studies are studies that have been produced and then uh, scientists, again, that are considered real scientists by the vast majority of uh, the scientific scientific community, they have to read, look at, measure the science, and conclude, is this real science? And it's not so much their opinion of real science, it's the experts that uh, are writing about real science, writing about the study, and do they have the legitimacy as opposed to the kooks, which are used over and over again. And the National Academy of Science has said that jurors can be thrown off uh, by what is known as the CIA, uh, the CSI effect, where jurors have an unrealistic expectations of the reliability of forensic evidence from watching CSI and other shows. Uh, that sent the entire jury pool, the entire uh, number of jurors that sit on jurors that are accepted by the judge and the attorneys, uh, they're looking at uh, what they see on the television show, and that is... Uh, instantly, the thieves are found, the crooks, the murderers, the rapists are found with evidence that is collected at the scene, and then within 40 minutes, uh, they catch the thief. Well, uh, forensic evidence is a part of, and it can be contaminated, uh, it can be mixed up, there can be too much, as in 15 uh, different DNAs, uh, uh, samples of DNA on a body because of having been touched, having been rolled over, having been raped by several people. So uh, that's the bill that's been introduced, and uh, the bill has no formal opposition from prosecutors or law enforcement organizations, and it passed 30 to 3, moving it to the assembly, and I think this is going to happen. Uh, Jake, you're going to have to give me phone calls uh, in my ear because I don't have them on the screen. 
Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. So you can tell me. You can tell me over my uh, earheads. Uh, all right, Warren. Uh, welcome to Handle on the Law. What can I do for you? Hired an independent All right, hold on, hold on. You cut out a little bit. Let's start from the beginning, please. Hi. The city of Burbank hired an independent contractor to do some road work. The independent contractor failed to mark a lane closure properly, and I drove over a trench and did about $6,000 worth of suspension damage to my classic car. Now, I put a claim into the city. The city denied it. Of course they did. The city always denies it. As and a matter city, of course. Right. The city rec uh, uh, put it off to the independent contractor, and they denied the claim. Okay. I called to handle the law a few times. No one got back to me. I went through like 15 lawyers. Nobody wants to do the case because there was no personal injury. Yeah, and there was no damages. It's $6,000, and the best you can do, Warren, is get your $6,000 to repair your car. Where does a lawyer make money? Right. So you're probably not going to get a lawyer. I'm kind of surprised that no one on uh, Handle on the Law uh, have called you uh, back. That never happens. Uh, I, no, I follow up on that. Uh, Misty, would you get uh, Warren's phone number so I can follow up? Find out what happened because that's almost that's never ha or very rarely does that happen. And then uh, I, I'm going to put you on hold for just a minute. We're going to get um, uh, the uh, number. All right, hang on a minute, and I'll keep. I'll do it after he's he's done. All right. Well, you can tell the computer computer went out a few minutes ago. Ah, welcome to uh, live radio. Anyway, uh, so I'll follow up, Warren, with that. Now let's get back to your situation. And uh, he's certainly going to sue the third-party contractor. And you're going to sue the city. You're going to sue them both. Now, with the city, you have to go through all their appeals uh, because it's an administrative uh, procedure where you're suing an administrative uh, agency. The city, actually, probably the Department of Transportation that actually oversees uh, the road work. And that you have to go through. So in other words, if you take both the to court, small claims court, and six thousand uh, dollars. The judge will say, "Did you exhaust your uh, administrative remedies?" No, Your Honor, because there are four levels of appeal. So you're going to go ahead with uh, just the lawsuit against uh, the defendant, uh, the contractor. So you got a couple of choices. You go against him uh, purely, and I would suggest going against both, but you would have to wait until uh, the, uh, the administrative remedies have uh, been uh, have been borne out. And so that's your choice, one way or the other. It depends on how much of a rush you are. Uh, that's just the way it works. Interesting stuff, because you're, you know, when you're dealing with a city, a county, a state, and then the feds are on a whole different level, it's almost impossible to sue the feds. Uh, I mean, you can, but man, take specialties, uh, specialists who do only that, uh, and the damages have to be just astronomical. This is Handle on the Law, and uh, let's check in with uh, Brian Baruman. Brian. Well, China has won its first gold medal of the Olympics in Beijing, the host country, in the short track speed skating mixed team relay. The trial for the lawsuit by Vanessa Bryan against L.A. County for shared photos of the crash scene that killed Kobe Bryant has been delayed to July, and NASCAR is opening its season with an exhibition race on a track built inside the L.A. Coliseum today. And we're going to have a look at some trouble on the 10 next. The holy grail of home ownership is to pay off that mortgage as soon as possible. Well, I want to explain a totally different way of thinking about your home, your money. Paying off your home makes no sense. In the past few years, your home's value has increased like crazy. Home prices have gone up exponentially, and that means your home's equity has grown exponentially too. And all that value in your house is just sitting there doing absolutely nothing. Money is so cheap right now, and you probably think that the money in your home is safe, and investing that money is dangerous. Not necessarily true. If your home loan rate is 3% or under, you only have to make more than 3%. The problem is that paying off your home is so deeply rooted, you probably learned it from your parents. Their goal is to pay off the house, live modestly into old age, minimal expenses. Today, it is totally different. We don't have guaranteed pensions to count on anymore. Social security benefits don't let you keep your lifestyle. 
So your retirement is probably powered by your investment. I was talking to Mark Tice at HMS Capital about this, and I asked him, how about a 30-year loan versus a 15-year loan? He said he'd recommend a 100-year loan because he believes the goal is not to pay off your house, but put your home's money to work for you. If this way of thinking about your home, your money, your future makes sense, call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698. HMS Capital encourages you to apply with them and another lender at the same time. They're that confident they can get you the best deal. HMS Capital is the only lender I know that does that. I've done two mortgages with HMS Capital. I've known Mark for over 16 years. So call HMS Capital at 833-255-5698 or visit HMSCapital.com. That's HMSCapital.com. We're looking at a work zone in Baldwin Park on the 10. That's Eastern and between Baldwin Park Boulevard and Pacific. Three right lanes are coned off until midnight Sunday, so you'll be seeing some delays right now from Fraser. That's the bar on the 60 eastbound just before the third point. Third watch out for the left lane. Oh, 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 a heavy ride from Diamond Park Boulevard. And then both of them are coming eastbound to Central Pennsylvania. The crash there is taking away the right lane, causing some stopping of delays from Beaumont Avenue. KFI in the Sky helps get you there faster. I'm Pedro Moreno. This report is sponsored by DuckDuckGo. Protect your privacy for free with DuckDuckGo. I feel like I'm being haunted by a pair of headphones. Everywhere I go is a creepy ad for headphones I've looked at one time. I hate that feeling like I'm being watched. I downloaded DuckDuckGo and saw a difference right away. Take back your privacy online with DuckDuckGo. Privacy simplified. Have you wanted to speak a new language but thought it'd be too difficult or take too much time? Then try Babbel. Whether you want to learn Spanish for future travel plans, French to connect with extended family, or maybe German to land a new job, Babbel works because it's built around real life. Come here, it teaches camera. you everyday practical conversations you that you're actually use. All you need is 15 minutes a day, and you'll be on your way to confidently speaking a new language in just a few weeks. Babbel is designed by real language experts using a modern conversation-based technique that makes learning fun, engaging, and best of all, memorable. It starts by teaching you words and phrases. Then sentences gradually get more complex. Soon you're practicing short conversations about real life topics. And with 14 languages to choose from and lesson topics like travel, business, relationships, and more, you'll be sure to learn what matters most to you. Babbel. Language for life. Learn a new language with ease. Go to babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. Discerning drivers which you want to do with the Identity thieves to set it free? Crazy talk. It can be dangerously easy to steal your identity. LifeLock by Norton makes it easy to help protect yourself. If you become a victim, we'll work to fix it. No one can monitor all transactions, but everyone can save up to 25% off their first year at LifeLock.com with promo code NEWS. Identity theft protection starts here. Are you suffering with nerve pain and numbness in your back, legs, and feet? Do you suffer from leg cramping, sciatica pain, pain when you walk, prickling, or tingling sensation?